In this CoreCon training video, we're going to explore CoreCon's Document Viewer. Before you review this training video, we encourage you to check out the video on online file management. For CoreCon's Document Viewer to work properly, you will need to go into your browser settings and allow pop-ups. There's instructions on how to do this in CoreCon's Knowledge Base. A few reminders. In order for a document to be viewed, it must be processed initially to allow future annotations, which will only be done when clicking the view option in the linked files grid. Processing may take up to 30 minutes, though usually considerably less than that. And it's depending on the type and size of the file, but typically it requires only a few minutes. Annotations applied to a file in CoreCon's document viewer must be saved within 20 minutes of making the change. Users can only edit or delete their own annotations. In early 2022, CoreCon allowed DocuSign to integrate with CoreCon so that if you have your own DocuSign account, you can add it to your CoreCon subscription and use CoreCon Document Viewer for e-signature as well. CoreCon Knowledge Base includes a list of supported file formats. For the most part, every file format is on here except for EXE or executable files. In a similar knowledge base article, there is also a link to access the viewer user guide. Let's explore CoreCon's document viewer features by working with a drawing. To do this, I'm going to go to a project. I have a project selected. I'm going to go to drawings and specs. Next, I'm going to select the more information next to drawings so that I can switch the view to card style, just basically thumbnails. Let's take a look at the drawing E2. I'm going to go to actions and view. Let's begin by going over a few things about navigation. First of all, there is a tab bar. There is a toolbar. There are paging controls. And if we look to the bottom, we'll also see a viewing toolbar. First, let's use the viewing toolbar to make this a little bit bigger, easier to read. We can pan, we can do a full screen fit to screen, and so on. Scroll down to the notes. I can also use the pointer to scroll around as well. Now let's focus on the toolbar. There is a feature to download the drawing or to print. On the toolbar, we also have a thumbnail view. We can magnify. We can set rectangle zoom rotate the document, rotate the page, and we have image tools. Let's click on image tools. We have adjustments you can make to the image. Now let's go up to annotate, and the annotate toolbar appears. In addition to the annotation tools, we also have the ability to save, to load annotations, to make comments, and again to download. Next, let's call out a comment in the notes. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm going to select the color, and I'm also going to switch to lines instead of a fill, and highlight this comment. While I'm at it, I'm going to go up to the drawing, we're going to call out one of these features. Let's use the arrow tool. Now let's add some text.
There is a stamp annotation. and an image stamp annotation. You can also use image stamp annotation to upload your own stamps. Remember to save your document often and the first time you save it, it will ask you to give it a different name. You will not be able to annotate over the original document itself. So you'll save it, give it a brief name. That way you're editing, you're editing a revision of the document. If you need to delete a feature, switch the pointer to the pan feature, highlight the item and hit delete. If you'd like to know more about this subject, we encourage you to go to the knowledge base under Corecom Browser Solution, go to Miscellaneous, and then down to Online File Management Overview. Go to Viewing and Annotating Uploaded Files. This knowledge base article, as well as additional articles, include the information covered in this training video, plus additional details you might find helpful. Remember that the viewer user guide is found here.